This video is about the best tools used to make fine scale scenery with your static grass applicator. First, I will give you a summary of the tools and then so that you can see how effective they are, I will show you examples of fine scale scenery made with these tools. After that, if you are interested in making fine scale scenery, a more detailed description of the tools for your static grass applicator follows. We will look at four tools. We will look at a small strainer, a large vegetable strainer, a jar made into a shaker, and a special holding tool for static grass trees, wire armatures, grass tufts, and a lot more. These are all static grass based. They are twigs that had static grass branches added, there's static grass fields, there's static grass bushes, and one of my favorites is static grass flowers with an apple tree, all based on static grass, and all done using these tools. This is the first tool I use, a strainer. It's a strainer that I use on the side and to distribute and I use the end of fine work. This is my fine work tool. It's simple, simply made. It's nothing more than a tea strainer and I stick it inside a piece of poly pipe. Attach the wire and it's like I say extremely handy this is my most often used tool. For larger areas, I use a vegetable strainer that is made the same way. This is how you can see the size comparison. I use the large one if I'm working in larger areas, of course. Strainer, pipe, and wire simply made inexpensive. Some people like to use a shaker. A shaker is very easily made. Advantages of this, this is simply a jar. It's got a flat bottom. So unlike other shakers that roll around, this you can sit down. Also, if I want to change the grass that I'm using. I keep my grass in similar jars. I just put the top on the other jar and I'm ready to go with it. Very quick to change the grass. Now you don't have to have jars just like this. A mason jar works very well. You put the strainer inside the top of the mason jar and then use the small mason jar. For working with a flock box, I use another tool. This is nothing more than an alligator clip hooked onto a piece of wire and put onto a dowel. With this, I can attach my trees, my tree armatures, plastic wood. Uh, this, this, the generators I use will pull the branches onto the armatures very well. I can also use this for making flowers. To make flowers, I take a piece of screen and put some paper on the screen, baking paper. I'll put the dots on the paper. I then hook this, as soon as I get my fingers working, I hook this onto this tool and put this over the flock box. I'll show you how to do this in another video, how I make the flowers. You can also make some very fine grass tufts doing this. But, so these are the tools, very simply made. The nice thing about this is you have a collection of tools that you can use to do exactly what you want. Like I say, this strainer is probably my favorite and I work with that and then 
and if necessary, making cups or whatever, I use the jar. This is the static grass applicator I use. It's the static grass king, 15 kilovolt DC output. It pulls like the devil. You can do a lot of work with it. Link below. I hope you've learned something. If you have questions or comments, contact me. Have a good day, stay healthy, and have a good life.